So we got one of our sisters here that's going to respond about the passport bros. And she has a strong opinion. Um, she feels the passport bros is trash. I mean, that's a very, very, you know, strong word. Let's review it. This whole passport bros movement is evidence to me that in the end, the trash usually takes itself out. Okay. So them going to other countries is, is the trash taking itself out. Okay. Thank you. We have established that. Like the creepiest, strangest, and most annoying of men are deciding to leave the country and pursue children in developing countries. What? Instead of bothering us. And I'm not mad at it, but I think it's funny that they think we're mad about it. Hold on, hold on. The lies! There you the go, lies, this bitch. The I'm lies. telling you. Trifling. Children? That is against the law in every country. Why did you get on the internet and lie, young lady? Nobody's pursuing a freaking child. If they're pursuing children, you will see these guys being paraded on freaking TV in those countries being locked up. If that's what they're going after. Why do y'all say things that's, that's lying like that? Like that doesn't make you look good to lie. It don't, especially when somebody just po calling you out and pointing out that you can't like show the proof. This is the thing, since you made the accusation, you have the burden of proof of that. So produce receipts of, quote unquote, passport bros are being with children, underage children. Show the receipts of them being arrested and being charged with that, because that's illegal in every nation on the earth. Show the receipts of that. Y'all make these accusations and never bring uh, the, the, the proof of anything. Bring the evidence. Bring the evidence so we can see it and we all talk about it. I'll talk about it. I'm honestly sad that other people have to deal with you now. That's what I... Wait, 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 wait. In the beginning, you said the trash takes out itself. You said they're the most creepiest, strangest, annoying guys ever. Okay. So your attitude should be like, good riddance. Thank God you're away. I don't have to deal with you. I don't have to see you. You're somebody else's problem, not mine. So why are you sad that somebody else got to deal with the trash? When I throw away trash, I don't care about the trash. I don't think about where the trash going. I don't say it's sad. The trash had to go to a landfill. I don't think like that. I can care less because it was trash to me. So if these guys are trash. Why you have any kind of emotional response or attachment to the trash? Well, let's continue. I'm sad about, but like, honestly, if you're on this weird timing, go ahead, get your passport and leave too. Cause clearly nobody in America wants you. Um, that's not true. And I'm tell you why that's not true. Some of the biggest responses about the password bros has been women saying they say it one or two ways. Either some going to say, well, why y'all leaving? We have single women right here in America. That's good women. Why, why can't you get with one of them? Why you have to leave? That's one response. The second response, they feel the same way as the first response, but they're going to do it in the classic American way. Because see, there's two ways America deals with men. You can have one that's like trying to say, Hey, this is what we need. Then you have the other one where I'm going to use, I'm going to shame and insult you. Okay. And those shame and insults produce guilt in these men. So they want these men to submit to their will based on guilt. This, this is what they do. So most of them are not choosing the nice route. Most of them are choosing the shaming and insulting route to try to garner feelings of guilt. And what's happening, and thank God it's happening, a lot of these men are saying that it's not working. Cause I don't I don't value what you say. I, I at one point in time I valued what you say, so the shaming tactics will work, the insults will work, but now it's like it bounces off of me like water on a duck's back. It doesn't work. So so you can't guilt me into doing anything. And that's what the, the issue is. These women not silly, these women don't want to tell men they're needed or wanted. They just rather shame you and guilt you um, to stay around. They understand that a lot of people who have passports are making a lot of money. 
if 42% of, of people that make $50,000 or more are passport holders and 60, uh, f- 62% of those who make a hundred thousand dollars or more are U S passport holders. They know that you are the men with money. Okay. But even though you're the men with money, they still can't just tell you, well, you know, well, well you know, I'm single. I, I would like a man that no, they, they can't come at you like that. This is why the quote unquote pick me's you have an advantage. Really the pick me's have a great advantage that they don't realize because of most of those modern women is going to shame and insult these men. That's where you come in and tell it, look, most of these men, ladies, those who quote unquote pick me's just need to be told they're needed. They want to be loved. They want to have a family. They want to, you know what I'm saying? They, it, it don't really take much. If you know how to make a meal, you know, all that, of course, you know, you do what you do, you know, uh, in other areas, but that's mostly what these men want. And if they can get it in America, they they have no problem staying. But if they can't get it here, then that's an option. So the pick me's who, who are decent, you know, the pick me's who, who aren't insulting men, who aren't shaming men, who, who aren't out here looking like the modern woman, those women, in my opinion, do deserve a good man, in my opinion, but you better stand out quick. You better say something because these modern women are just kind of messing things up for you. And I've been saying that and I'm going to continue to say that because there's, there's a lot of decent women in America still, but unfortunately the modern woman problem, we talked about how some of you women who are decent don't dress like the modern woman or wear your makeup like the modern woman. Don't get the tattoos of the modern woman or where the weeds of the modern woman. You don't want to look like her. So you get put in her category, but using these shaming and insulting tactics, it's just not going to work. Young lady. These men have options now and they're leaving. And, but to you, why do you even care? Cause the trash took out itself. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, what this young lady is saying here. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just curious if she don't have a guy that's one of the trash guys, does she even have someone in her life?